Very beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the big moose. Today is September 18th. 1-8. I'm 125 kilometers, well, probably less now. 115 kilometers from Taneli's house. Well, from his village. I'm not fully sure what his address is. And the village name is... Uh, it's very complicated to remember. Aka San Polo or something like that. I'm still in Sweden. I have a great uh, first night in the Arctic. I forgot to take a video, but I asked a house if they, I could uh, camp in their garage. It's the only, like, you go through villages, you don't see anyone, anyone. But these people were unpacking the car because they went moose hunting. And I asked if I could camp in their garage and they said, it's gonna be cold. And I was like, yeah, and if I camp in the forest, it's gonna be even colder. If I have a roof, it's gonna be dry. So then uh, I explained, I was cycling five years around the world. I cannot afford campsites, hotels, this thing. And uh, eventually he said yes. And I was setting up my tender and they invite me for dinner and for sauna, which means also shower. So we had, uh, so they have this thing in, uh, in Sweden where they have Friday's tacos. It's not Tuesday tacos, it's uh, Friday tacos in Sweden. And uh, the ground meat they used was moose. So I had a dinner, I was well fed, did the sauna, so also clean myself. And I went into my tent. I was really cozy for the first night in the Arctic. I switched liner from silk to the thermoreactor. It was a bit too warm, actually. At some point, I had to spread out my, my cumulus quilt because I was too warm. So I opened the foot box, fully open, and spread it out as a blanket and had a nice, uh, nice night. And I hit the road about, uh, it was nine o'clock. It was a bit later than, uh, than I wanted, but nine o'clock, I have 125 kilometers to do, it's okay. I should be there by, if I don't stop much, I should be there by five, six o'clock this evening. Relax a little bit and have a very good night's sleep. That's the plan for my Saturday night. I think today is Saturday, Saturday 18th September. I will stay on this paved road for the most part because it's fast. I think the wind is like yesterday. It's uh, east, south, east, uh, southeast and I'm heading north, <laughs> slightly northeast. Okay, long talk, time to pedal, guys. This river is the border between uh, Sweden and Finland. On the other side of the bridge, Finland. Country number 46, Alaska to Patagonia keeps on going. This is the middle of the bridge. I'm crossing into a new country and it feels very different. On the Swedish side, there is no signs on the road. On the Finnish side, there is white lanes. I think they're reindeer, no? Hop, hop, hop. The second day in the Arctic is coming to an end. I'm only 
25 kilometers from Accra, Slam Polo, where I'll spend the night. I go to the market, stock up with some food, and uh, yeah, it's coldish but manageable. Actually, I have my. This was one of the best investment I did of the new kid. It's a one liter thermos, but it's very light. It's just uh, slightly heavier than a stainless steel uh, water bottle. Cold and warm and hot drinks you can put there. I love it. I usually put uh, in the morning one liter of hot tea with uh, a bit of sugar and when I stop to eat something I can drink something warm because when I stop when I'm pedaling it's okay I can manage but when I stop I get cold very quickly so yeah that is very good Yeah, nothing to report. Hopefully I can find Anneli's house easily. I can find the keys of the house easily that she hidden in the garden. Good morning, September 19th, Sunday. I left 20 minutes ago, Tanelli's house, the village of Acaslompolo, I think. And uh, I'm heading uh, to the main road so that I can be a bit faster. I left much later than I thought. My clock here says uh, 4 minutes to 11. But this is the Swedish time. I found out this morning that in uh, Finland they are one hour ahead, so it's almost 12 o'clock in Finland. I will. Uh, probably cycle six hours and find a place to spend the night. Hopefully camping in a dry place, but we will see. Tanelli made uh, some bikepacking routes that are very nice, all the way up, almost to Norca, pretty much straight up, but they're a bit slower than this road and the Bave Road and I just want to get there as fast as possible so weather condition should be good up there I get the Gulf Stream yeah, it's, the temperature is actually higher than here in Lapland and in two days it will there will be snow here look at these reindeers those are wild those are pretty wild reindeer there's one even here eating uh, small little trees. I'm 
pretty much in the middle of nowhere tonight but I found a cabin it is a sort it should be a sort of a shelter for uh, hikers I'm about one kilometer away and despite I left late and uh, the day I get the days are getting shorter I was able to clock in uh, 126 kilometers already I'm about 435 kilometers away from Norcap. The weather forecast changed. The next two days should be good, but then it should start pissing rain. And probably so. We'll see. That's a bummer. The hut is there, but it's on the other side of the, this peninsula. So I'll need to backtrack four kilometers, I think. The cabin was not available to me because uh, <laughs> it's, it's on the other side of that peninsula. And uh, I didn't see any clear uh, trails on, uh, on uh, maps.me and there wasn't any on Google Maps. So maybe it would have been difficult to get there. But I saw that they are building this house, this cabin and i just pitched my tent there it's gonna be higher up so it should be pretty dry the wind uh, is coming a little bit from the other side but uh, so that's why i put the the fly sheet on but uh, it should be it should be good now i'll make uh, i'll make some pasta and uh, i'm sheltered from the wind where i eat it's good it's getting chilly Tonight is gonna be about around uh, freezing temperature, so I think uh, this is the best uh, out of the situation. It's gonna be a bit humid because uh, we're very close to the water, but I hope the fact that we are on, on wood and we have a, a roof and uh, two out of four walls, it would have been nice if the wall was on the other side because the wind is coming from there but uh, you can't have everything all right let me have some food and uh, i'll see you in the morning